Hello everyone, we're here with Dr. Paul Stewart today who will be performing rag music, ragtime music in our Friday night concert series on Friday, February 15th at 6 p.m. in the Harold Schiffman Music Library. So, Dr. Stewart, tell us when you started working at the UNCG School of Music. Yes, I'm one of the senior faculty members at UNCG School of Music. I started in 1970 uh, and I was quite young then and this has been my only job and uh, in fact um, along with Kent Williams uh, we're the senior uh, faculty in the music school. Um, yeah. And what do you do on a daily basis here at UNCG? Well I'm, I'm a piano faculty member and uh, I've had the pleasure of really working on all levels uh, in the piano area, uh, from teaching graduate students to uh, coordinating class piano, doing some class piano teaching, uh, and in between that I do some piano pedagogy, uh, I do the piano pedagogy course. Uh, this past semester uh, was a nice semester, we had 13 in the class, and, and from doctoral down to uh, performance majors at the senior level. Okay, and you are an our own expert at ragtime music. So that's what you're going to be doing at our Friday night concert. So tell us a little bit about what you'll be doing next Friday. Good. Well, let, let me say, kind of in preparation of that, is that I've been doing um, ragtime quite a bit in the last few years. I, I uh, made a CD uh, called Rhythm and Rags, uh, and basically I'll be talking about and playing quite a few of the pieces that are on that CD. Uh, ragtime has been an, an interest where I have used it to um, uh, go to do workshops at uh, for piano teachers. Uh, I've presented sessions at state associations uh, and I've even done some international uh, uh, piano teachers group in England. I, I presented ragtime there and, uh, and also in Bologna, uh, Italy um, at a music education uh, international festival. And so I've also gone, in a sense, on the non-academic side, and I've played at festivals of ragtime. Um, they do exist uh, in, in Missouri. Uh, there is a festival every June um, in Sedalia, Missouri, and it's there because that's where Scott Joplin um, first published the Maple Leaf Rag. There is a festival I go to in Sutter Creek, California. Uh, that's a ragtime festival, and it's kind of a setting in an old. Uh, cowboy town. They've, they've kept it uh, as a kind of tourist interest. And it's the festivals are fun because they have lots of venues. Uh, they'll have a piano on the street corner, they'll have a piano down by a hotel, they'll have a piano in an ice cream parlor, and they schedule the performers to do about 20 minute uh, uh, bits in, in each one of them. In Sutter Creek they have a, a theater, an old theater they've transformed, they do programs in there. So uh, it's it's been great. Fun. It, it's music that uh, everyone can relate to, um, and of course, it's I think sociologically interesting because of that period, 1900 to to 1920. Uh, it was a very important American music contribution, uh, and it's of course since been uh, an inspiration to uh, to composers as well. They've come back to ragtime, and and so we have. Uh, uh, quote, serious composers uh, writing ragtime-inspired music. Uh, William Balcom's Ghost Rag is a really good example of, of that, and there's quite a few examples of, of that. I, I play a, a piece called Judy's Rag by uh, Judas Zamont, who is a, uh, a very important composer uh, that, um, and I've been attracted to, to, uh, to doing both of that, and I'm hoping to go to West Virginia this summer uh, at a conference there and, and present a session, have a been confirmed on that yet. Okay. So you've heard it from his own mouth, people. This is Dr. Paul Stewart, and he'll be talking to us about ragtime and giving us some playing demonstrations on Friday, February 15th at 6 o'clock in the Harold Schiffman Music Library. We'll see you there.